All right, now you are here. And now we zoom in on the dot set. Look at that. See <laughs> that again. Awesome. All right, so this is the DOS header. This is the very first structure. This is that offset zero into the file. And there's, it turns out there's only two things that we actually care about in this structure. All the rest is DOS stuff, right? So we don't really care about it. We care about the magic value at the beginning, common thing of file formats, right? You need to say what kind of file you are so that people can parse you. We care about the magic at the beginning, and we care about this ELFA new. And this is basically an offset to the next structure. So it's just like, how do I get to the next structure, which is what I really care about. So the magic is always going to be set to the ASCII MZ for Mark Zivikowski, the person who was uh, developing DOS. And so basically, this is a very common thing. If you're looking at memory dumps or things like that, if you're looking at just raw memory and trying to get your bearings, and you see an MZ pops out, then you say, aha. Maybe there is a PE file right here. Maybe there's a DOS file right here. So that MZ is definitely a thing to key in on. An interesting thing is that on most Windows programs, you've got actually a DOS program built into the header, which basically runs in DOS and says, I can't be run in DOS. So the only point of it is just to have a minimal program uh, so that if someone tries to run a Windows program like Notepad in DOS, it'll say, I cannot be run in DOS. And you'll actually see that as a string as well. You see, this program cannot be run in DOS mode. And going back to my uh, key view, view of things, we can see that right here, this, this program cannot be run in DOS mode. So that's another string. You kind of, so this would be looking at the raw file right here. And so we see an MZ at the beginning. And we see this, this program cannot be run in DOS mode. So that's a pretty good indication that we're dealing with you know, a Windows program just based on this raw view of things. Now, keep in mind that an attacker can always remove that sort of thing once he's loaded into memory. You know, once you're loaded, it doesn't need to be there anymore. You can just wipe it out. So don't do like some commercial products do and use that as the end all be all determination of whether there's something loaded into memory. That's a deal on that's injected or anything like that. All right, so, but then, so MZ is what you'll be looking at. This is program cannot be run in DOS mode, looking for that as well. And then ELFA new gives us a file offset. So this is saying how far into this file is the next uh, header, the P header or NT header, we sometimes call it. So 